to women atlanta this is season four episode eight which came on wednesday but they had two episodes that day and i told y'all i don't like when they have two episodes of shows it just takes too much i mean i don't want to watch two hours of nothing okay especially not two hours of a show that they don't it ain't no ending like it's gonna always be another goddamn on episode so i'm not sure why they did two episodes in one day on my Wednesday, especially when the, sep- the second episode was part one to an episode that was going to come on the following week. I'm like, y'all could have just kept doing week, week, week. But however, I have to be consistent with my stuff. And, you know, here we go. Uh, yes, I look very tropical, as I said in my earlier video. It is, sa- it is Saturday, and the weather in Michigan is warmer, meaning it's in the 30s and the 40s. Well, the 30s. And I wanted to be tropical. So, you know, I was walking around today in the house. Of course, I was not outside in the goddamn on dress. Um, but I put on a little, you know, fancy dancy sundress or whatnot. Just to, you know, celebrate the kind of the warmness of the coldness of Michigan. So, yeah. Um, I hope everyone had a great weekend. Where it's having a great weekend because it's still Saturday. Um, and just, you know, it's enjoying time with family or whatever. So, this particular episode... Let me just say something. Juicy can get on my nerve. Tanya get on my nerve. And Sam gets on my nerve. You know, those are the people who just, you know, gets on my damn nerve. So we see how the ladies, well, not all of them, but we see how it's um, Juicy, was it Juicy, Money, and the twins, Andrea and Amanda and Andrea, who are at like bull riding, trying to just release some stress over that whole fiasco fighting and craziness of um juicy showcase now my thing is juicy do realize that the twins was a part of the bullshit so i'm like are we just not gonna address the bullshit that happened at the party we're gonna just ignore it and like any we're gonna act like sam wasn't trying to fight that girl and like andrea who was pregnant wasn't trying to go at that girl we're gonna we're gonna ignore that like we're not even gonna speak on it we're gonna let it go okay if you say so I, look I went off on my last review that I did on Wednesday for that particular episode, but I almost don't like how this episode picked up, and they're not even really addressing that, but, you know, whatever. I'm just a viewer, you know, I'm not going to act like I own the show, but still. So, you know, they all at the little bull rat and restaurant and whatnot, chilling out, and then Jordan comes up with the idea of, you know, just to relieve some stress, just to kind of have everybody, you know, chill out and have some fun. I'm going to plan a trip for us to go fly fishing. Now, my thing is, I don't like the regular fish. I don't like flies either, so I don't think fly fishing would have been exciting for me. And I'm happy that's them and not me. So, you know, they're like, okay, cool, that'll be something different. You know, we all can go. Juicy then says how she wants to bring a beer. Now I get it. Now a beer is a new cast mate, and they have to, in, you know, integrate her into it however they see fit. However, you know what I'm saying. I'm a firm believer in I don't want to hang out with somebody I don't like, and I feel like if my boyfriend wants to plan a trip, Juicy, you should want to invite somebody you know I don't like. Now, if Juicy, if you want to plan a trip, if you want to have something going on, and you want to invite a bearer, then go ahead and do that. But I'm like, if we're going to integrate her, she's not going to be integrated on my goddamn trip. It's just not going to happen. But, you know, hey, it's reality TV show, and it's, it is what it is. And, you know, money brings up how, no, I think Chris was the one who was like, maybe you shouldn't invite her because she always starting shit, she always popping off. And again, as I told y'all, I didn't watch the last season to see whatever happened between her, the twins, and many. I didn't see any of that. However, I do, I can tell that Abira has a very, you know, pop-off type personality. I, I, can, I can definitely see that. You know, Money then says, you know, she's an adult. We're all adults, and she deserves some rest and relaxation as well. So, you know, maybe she should be able to come as long as she can act correct. So, you know, I think either Andrea 
or me and one of the twins think, you know, she's able to be cool, you know, I guess it's okay if she came. That wouldn't have been me. Nope. I would have been like, it's my trip. She can't come. No, thank you. No, sir. No, no, she can't come. She can come on your trip, but not on my trip. But, you know, it's going to be what it's going to be. They then have, they say how it's going to be an adult on the trip. I think that's a great idea. You know, even though there are two mothers on the show, that which is, you know, Andrea and Tanya, I still feel like, you know, you can have things that don't involve the children if you're doing an adult trip. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. And Andrea says how she, I'm trying to fix the dress. This is so funny. Um, Andrea is saying how she will just send um, Aubrey to Texas to be with family while they take this little strip or whatever. And I think Tanya said, what y'all going to do if... Tanya tried to bring her baby because her baby's so young. And she's like, y'all gonna have to kind of deal with that. And I feel like they shouldn't have to deal with that. My thing is, if the rule is no, it's an adult-only trip and you have children and you can't find a babysitter, it means you're not supposed to go. Okay? No children events means don't bring your children or don't bring yourself. Okay? It doesn't mean if you can't find a sitter, bring your kid anyway. Okay? So, Juicy, <laughs> Juicy said, well, no, 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 no. If it's an adult on the trip, and even if she breastfeed, she better pump before she leave. And even though Juicy gets on my goddamn go nerve, I agree with her. She better pump before she leave, leave the formula. People, parents have to leave their children to do things all the time. And Tanya ain't no goddamn exception. Exception Better sit ass down somewhere. So, next we see... It's time you're telling Vine about the trip and how, you know, it's a, fe a females only. It's an adults only trip. And she's aggravated that they, that they were playing an adult only trip and invite her. So should they have planned an adult only trip and not invited you? Like, did you, how you mad because they planned the trip and they, they're giving you the option to go? Because the same way, you have three children. Two of your kids is gone. So what you, you acting as if they know that your kids ain't never gone. Girl, you are... Tanya, to me, seems so entitled. And she aggravates every fight with my being now. Um, And I think it came from this particular episode. Well, it was a little bit, too, when she did not let... Didn't have um money to see the baby before other girls. But we're not going to talk about that. But for her to say she's aggravated because they were planning a, a, a adults on the trip and invite her. Well, bitch, what you want them to do? Okay, they are adults. All of them don't have children, and it's a it's a couple's trip. It's a fucking couple's trip. If you don't, if you can't find a sitter, sit your monkey ass at home and and, and be with your baby. Okay, it ain't it ain't nothing wrong with staying home with your children. It's nothing wrong at all. But a couple's only no kids trip. It's the same thing as a wedding where they don't want no damn kids. Don't bring your crying ass kids on the trip because we want to turn up, we want to drink, we want to have fun, we want to be able to cuss, fuss, or stab late, and sometimes that's not doable. When there are children around. So it was adults only. Okay? And you know, Vi like, what, what you gonna do? She says she's gonna bring her baby anyway. And she's not gonna tell nobody. And I'm like, she met him when she said, you know, how they, why they plan an uh, adult on the trip? You ain't the only one with kids. So why you act like you feel like you single out? Andrea also has children. Okay? She has a new baby. Her baby may not be as young as your new baby. But hey, your baby like, what, three, four months old? I think she was, her baby was under two months. It's under three months. So your baby is almost three months. She had a newborn. You what she at now? Cause you in the backyard playing in dirt. Who got it right now? Is it a babysitter? Well, guess what? If you take if you gone for a day or two, you can make that happen. But if you can't, mama, you stay your ass home with your children. Okay. But to say that I'm gonna bring her anyway, and I don't care nobody say is why you are on the list of who J Lee don't like this week. Okay. So from there. We see Jordan, and he meeting up with men. They're looking like, well, that's a weird-ass combination, but okay, it is what it is. And come to find out, he's trying to propose to Amanda, and he did not want to ask um, Andrea because, of course, they're sisters, and he, like, you know, they can't keep secret from each other, and they have that whole twin thing. So he picked the next best thing, which was their close friend, Minnie, to help him pick out a ring. And, you know, he does tell, you know, like, you know, you can't tell anyone. You know, it's a secret. And I'm like, he wants it to be a complete surprise. And when he said, you know, don't tell anyone, Minnie, I said, she's going to tell somebody. I mean, I didn't think that she would tell Andrea. I knew she would tell Andrea or Amanda. But she's going to tell somebody. She's going to do it. Plus, I got a previous. So, yeah. It was a pretty ring. Very pretty ring. Um, 
But I'm like, is fly fishing the best place to propose? I guess so. You don't want to lose the ring in the water. So we see a little part where Juicy is inviting Abira on the trip. And, you know, Abira was saying how, you know, I ain't worried about the twins. You know what I'm saying? I ain't worried about them. Whenever you say who you ain't worried about, in some way, you worry about them, okay? But she do say how her and Juicy, you know, all the time about me get along. And, you know, she don't know about if she should go. She don't want to be used as a person to cause conflict. Well, that's what, that's what you're going to be doing, so it is what it is. You know, and I feel like Juicy invited Abira on this particular trip. It's to cause drama. Point blank, period. Um, And, you know, that's what it was. But, yeah, whatever. We then see how Jordan bought waiters for everyone. I kept on saying, what the hell is a waiter? But it's the it's the gear you use when you fly fish. And you, when fly fish, you get in the water. So the water is up to however far you go in. And so, it's your, so that your clothes don't get wet. And, you know, a man like, well, you got everyone size, right? He's like, yeah, we got everyone size. And she's like, you got juicy, a large man's, right? He like, yeah. So we like, okay. Everybody got their size. So we then see money and... um. I was like, why can't I remember his name? Moreland come in, you know, just to kind of see what's going on or whatever. And, you know, <laughs> Money and Amanda trying on the waiters, that shit was hilarious because when Jordan had to pick uh, <laughs> Amanda up and kind of shake her into the thing, it reminded me of when you have a pillow trying to put in the pillowcase and you be doing this to try to get the pillow to get down in there. And <laughs> That's what it reminded me of. Like, no tea, no shade to any little person, but it reminded me of trying to make your pillow fit in a goddamn pillowcase. And I kept laughing the whole time. I was like, bitch, what is going on here? It was just so funny to me. Um, but she does fit into it. It was because her butt was just big, basically. Um, but they do fit into it. But I'm like, still, she should have got a bigger size. Like, what? Um, is it a, I mean, is it a store you're going to try more? Like, or you just have to... Uh, you do you have to just like guess your size and even the one that money had on you know it took her a minute to get up in it but you know it wasn't loose and i'm like well, okay they like it i love it so you know it was what it was <coughs> we see sam and many are back cool or whatnot you know many saying how with her whole health scare and her heart condition that she's you know not trying to be petty and you know whole grudges or whatever i guess that's a good thing and they tell me how they don't know what to pack to go on this little fly fishing expedition. And I'm like, you would just, you pack things that you will wear in nature. You don't pack things to be all dressed up. You pack little, you pack like workout clothes, okay? You pack like, you know, leggings, maybe some little nice little jeans, some cute little sneakers, you know what I'm saying? Even some little, um... Chuck Taylor shoes, you know, some easy breezy beautiful cover girl. You know, when I seen she had put out some heels. I mean, I guess you can bring something cute to wear in case y'all go out to a fancy dinner. But I still don't, girl. But I'm like, I don't. Y'all acting like y'all going somewhere. Y'all have no idea what y'all y'all going to the damn wilderness. <laughs> I mean, you dress like you in the world. You dress like you in the world. You dress comfortable. You don't want to have to be all dolled up in heels and sandals. No, you wear some 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 park shoes. You you dress like you going to a family reunion. Okay, that's what you do. So from there, Minnie does what Minnie does best, and she's put the goddamn beans to Sam about Jordan wanting to propose to Amanda, and. When she told Sam, she was like, you know, I just keep, I don't know why he told me the secret, you know. It's hard for us women to keep secrets. That's not true. Well, well, no, that's not true. When someone tells you to keep that kind of secret, you don't tell anyone. Because it's, you're keeping a secret for a specific reason. Now, if you did something, if you do something scandalous or whatever, and, you know, you know I did it, you did it, and you don't want to tell anyone, that's your secret to keep. And if you tell one person, it's on you. But you should not. If someone say, hey, this is what I'm doing. Can you help me? You shouldn't go telling anybody else. That's some hoe ass, punk ass shit. And, um, then, you know, she, like, she didn't say to me enough, it's a secret. Don't talk about it. Don't mention it. Don't say nothing. I do believe she said, don't tell the girls. But I still don't think she made it as clear to Sam that it was a motherfucking secret. But she did say, don't tell nobody it's a secret. He wants to keep it quiet. So my thing is, that means shut the fuck up. Don't say nothing is what it means to me. So we then see everyone meeting up to leave. And then Juicy got the dang on RV bus and, hit, and with a beer. Minnie is upset because she was like, 
she wouldn't someone would have told her that a beer was coming. I completely get that. My thing is, if we all go on to hang out somewhere, and you know you bring somebody who I don't rock with like that, let me know so I know how to prepare myself to be. Okay, let me know so I know if I need to calm myself down before I get to where I'm going. I feel like they didn't tell her on purpose. I feel like many, many did that shit on purpose. You know, even the twins who said, you know, what she mentioned that she might bring her, but I still didn't think that she would. I think the twins should have mentioned to many, you know, Juicy said that she might bring Abira just again to prepare her for things. And, you know, it was what it was. So we then see, because many, what I thought was a great point that many made, she said, with well, my heart condition, I don't need to be stressed out. You know, I don't need those kind of, that, that kind of, those kind of situations. I get it. She doesn't. But it's a show. It's going to be what it's going to be. We then see how, but my thing with that was, you know, Juicy didn't invite that, that Kaylee chick who was beefed out with Sam because Sam was like, oh, yeah, is it an issue? Da, 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 da. Kind of cackling it up with Abira and Juicy. But I bet you uh, any amount of money had Juicy invited a damn Kaylee chick, Sam would have been pissed off and, and it would have been a fist fight right up there. And she would have been like, why you invite her? My thing is I hate when someone tells someone, hey, you shouldn't be sad about or mad about this. You know, this don't let this affect you. It's because you not in the situation. The person you don't like ain't here. If they were, you would, be, you, you would feel some kind of way too. That kind of stuff does make me mad. So then see Tanya walk up with her damn baby. And <laughs> I sure was like, you brought your baby? And she was like, yeah. She was like, but it's an, no kids. It's an all adult trip. She was like, yeah, but I breastfeed. I would say, look, I would say, well, you can go back home. We don't want no kids. If you can't leave your child at home, bye. But I'm a little bit of a, of a bitch sometimes. You know what I'm saying? But again, I wouldn't do that for real. But I'm like, I would have I would have made it known I wasn't happy. I would have kept saying, dang, y'all, you know, we can't. If we wanted to smoke some weed, we couldn't because it's a baby in, in, in the thing. Dang, y'all, if we wanted to just turn it right now and have a champagne shower, we can't because it's a baby in here. I would have kept doing that. I would have been the aggravating person to keep bringing up, it's a goddamn baby in here. Okay. So, they like, you know, whatever. We do see how both the twins are upset. You know, Amanda's upset as well because she's like, it was or it is an adult trip and she knew that and she brought her baby anyway. And I'm like, you know, whatever. We then see in the, um, Minnie and Abira had like a little sad conversation and for me, it meant, like, if y'all can have a little sad conversation and no one's arguing, y'all can squash whatever issues y'all have. But Minnie was basically asking Abira why at the showcase was she kind of, like, on Kaylee's side when they were all arguing or whatever. And Abira said, well, no, I wasn't that. I was on her side. I was trying to be neutral. But when I saw it was three against, three against one, I didn't want her getting jumped. I can respect that. And, you know, she then was saying how... Um, you know, we've had tensions or whatever, you know, but I just want to be stress free. I don't want to have no issues. And the beer basically said, you know what, I only turn up on somebody if they turn up on me first. And many said, so you saying that, you know, you only, you know, something like, she, something like you know, you only turn up if I turn up or whatever. She basically said, a beer basically said if she turned up, it ain't her fault. You know, it's up to other people to control her turn upness. <laughs> Minnie's like, that's why I don't trust that bitch. Because, you know, she don't take accountability for her own actions. And I completely agree. My thing is, me turning up shouldn't have anything to do with someone else. So my thing is, even if someone else pissing me off, I should be able to control my temper to until it's until it's until it's time to turn up. Okay? I don't I'm not gonna turn up for no damn reason. It's because you say hi or bye. And it seemed like, like that's what a beer was saying she do. Like if someone makes her mad in any way, she just turn up, you know what I'm saying? Girl, calm you down, yourself down. It's not, it's not that serious. And then <clears throat> from there, we see kind of Sam pull Minnie to the back of the of the trailer or the RV, and she says to her, like maybe you should put your feelings, you know, for a beer to the side and you know put them behind you. So the trip can be better, bitch. What? Again, you wouldn't say that if the person who you did not get along with was here. And my thing is, I think Minnie has every right to feel like, I wish she wasn't here. We don't we don't really get along. And it's going to be awkward. I'm not going to be friendly with her. Like, I ain't, I ain't got, like, she wasn't being mean to the girl. She just, I'm not going to be kicking with her for no goddamn no reason. Okay? But I'm like, whatever. What, you know, whatever. <sighs> what else did we see after that? Oh, 
in the little store. Baby stopped somewhere, and Sam, big mouth ass, walk up to Jordan, telling him congratulations. He like, for what? And she's like, you're proposing to Amanda. And he's like, what the fuck? Who told you that? She's like, Minnie. And I felt like when he said, when he played it off, you could have played it off too. Because even, even if, why are you bring it up and Amanda is in the same fucking store? That's stupid. But again, I get this is a reality TV show. But, you know, he's mad about it or whatever. Like I told her, don't tell anybody why she tell you. And then, I mean, he looked pretty pissed off. You know what I'm saying? When Sam then goes to Minnie and says, <clears throat> um... I, I mentioned it to Jordan. You didn't tell me not to mention to him. But I'm like, I shouldn't have to give you a list of who not to mention to if I tell you don't tell anybody. I mean, Jordan also told me don't tell nobody either. And she still did. But I'm like, I don't get why adults can't keep their dang on mouth shut. Just why you keep, why you talking, why you, why? It's like saying that you have to be the first one to take congrats. Calm down. You could have said, I knew it from the beginning once he proposed. Well, I'm like, girl, it's just not that serious. And, you know, he was mad. And, you know, he like, I don't want it to be ruined. I don't want anyone else to find out. Don't Y'all bet not send it to anybody else. I mean, like, no. I only told her. I, you know, I just told one person. I didn't tell anybody else. You know, no one else knows. It's not going to be ruined. And he looked pissed. He really did. And I'm like, I was kind of happy to stand look like she was, like, scared a little bit. Yep. But it was what it was. But she, I mean... Many did say don't mention it. She just didn't say who not to mention it to. But common sense would be like, just don't mention it to no damn body. So they get to the house. It's a nice, huge house. It's really pretty. You know, they all end up picking their rooms one by one and everything. And, you know, Tanya is saying how she can already tell that people are upset that she brought her daughter. She's like, but I don't care. She's here. This is why Tanya's on my I don't like your ass this week list. And that's why she got my goddamn nerves. We then see how, you know, a man to give like a little toast. You know how they're happy everyone came. And they can have a good time. And, you know, drink and have fun or whatever. And then the funny part was, <laughs> the entire came in with a baby. And then Amanda was like, oh, oh, I'm tired. I'm just going to go to bed. And everyone kind of left and went to bed. But I'm like, who wants to bed with a who? Who wants to party with a baby around? No one. Hence, no children. Okay, think about it. So, the next thing we see is Andrea and Tanya, you know, are in this park, whatever, and they're having a conversation. So, Andrea, like, you know what I'm saying? I want to let you know, you know what I'm saying, that I was upset that you brought your baby. And, you you know, I told you that this was an all-adult an all adult trip. There was no children at all. You know, I'm just wondering why you brought your baby. And <laughs> Tanya was like, well, you know, she's less than three months old, you know, I'm still breastfeeding, and you know what I'm saying? You would have brought your baby if she was this young, you know, but, you know, Aubrey is like a year, so it was different. And, you know, she's like, it was either me bring her or I don't come. Even though Andrea said, you know, I wasn't, I wasn't saying that you shouldn't come. She's like, however, you knew it was an all adult trip. I would have said that you shouldn't have came. We would, we, we would have understood if you didn't come. Like, it would have been fine. Um, because there's no kids are allowed. I don't think I don't think telling someone with kids you're having something that is no kids allowed and then they should get offended. I don't think that's the thing. Um, I think when you plan things, you plan, you plan things to how you want them to turn out because it's your um, event. And if I don't feel like having to deal with a child in whatever way, maybe I don't want a kid screaming. Maybe I just want to be able to have fun with adults and not have to worry about the child there. I have that right to do that. And my thing is, it ain't like they have no kids allowed events all the time. One time y'all go on somewhere and they say no kids allowed and you still bring your damn baby. But, you know, it was what it was. Um, Andrea does say, like, I felt like it was disrespectful because we said something that you just, you know, didn't do it. And not only did you bring your baby anyway, you didn't tell us that you was bringing your baby. Had you said something, I would have just brought Aubrey. You just didn't say anything. And she was, it was disrespectful. And she was trying to be sneaky. And she, could she keeps saying, like, I don't care what, I don't care how they feel. Well, bitch, why you here? Okay? She gets good. So my goddamn name. Fuck you, Tanya. God damn it. Damn it, Tanya. Um... We see a smile scene with Juicy and Abira talking, you know, walking through the little park or whatever. And, you know, Abira said how she feels like, you know, some tension or whatever. And how she's wondering if her, her presence is making many uncomfortable. Uh, you think? Y'all don't get along. I don't think it's a secret that they don't get along. I don't think she's surprisingly wondering why it's some weird tension. I think Juicy purposely brought Abira, knowing she did not get along with everyone. 
many because you know juicy and Minnie still have a you know little issues or whatever and that's why she did it it's, it's clear as day and you know even when the bear is saying like i don't want her to be uncomfortable like i don't want to be uncomfortable either and then for juicy said we well, you know what you can only worry about yourself and how you feel <sighs> juicy using the beard to make many feel you know uncomfortable it's it's, it's, it's that it's clear because many's a shit I mean because you know uh juice is a shit starter you know it was what it was um <clears throat> The end of the episode, to me, was kind of crazy. You know, they down at the water trying to go fly fishing, and everyone's putting on their little waders or whatever. Well, come to find out, Minnie doesn't have one for some reason, and she's not. She's very, you know, mad about it. We see how Tanya was saying how she thinks it's inhumane to catch fish and throw fish back, but she does not want to participate. Then why you... If, so you then brought your baby to the on thing, and then you knew it was going to fly fishing, which you know what fly fishing is. Why did you come? Huh? Yeah, why'd you come? But, you know, it was with us. Vine went and got the damn water. And then we see what Minnie is upset because the last size waiter was like a, a, was like a small. And she's like, you know, I can't fit a small. And supposedly they had got her own size. And then, you know, all the people are in the water. I think Sam came out first, asked Minnie how she was doing or whatever. And it's like, I'm pissed because that bitch took my waiter. She's like, think about it. We all put our orders in early. Um... We all put our orders in. She didn't have no order in. So how does she have one to fit her? And the only thing to fit her is too big for her. He, she was like, she took mine. And I don't think any of them had names on them. I think they probably knew what size people needed. And she, you know, but my thing is, I would have said something like, you know, who got mad? Like, who going who gonna to wear this small? Because my big ass can get in the small. So... Who getting in the small? And, you know, so she's mad about it. And then Sam was like, well, you know, this kind of, you know, Bria's my friend, but you know, it's fucked up if she did take Minnie's, you know, waiter. And, you know, so when they all come out the water and they all talking or whatever, <laughs> Minnie like, you know, I would have been good if that bitch didn't take my thing. And I'm like, Minnie, girl, you starting new stuff. So she's like, who? What happened? She's like, you. You been, you took my waiter, you know, because you didn't have one order. You know, I had one order. The one you had on was too big, so I know that you took my mine that was supposed to be a large. Honey, a beer like, bitch, you were XXXL, so, you know, so you couldn't fit this one. This one, you know, even though this one was a little bit big on me, you still couldn't get into it. And I'm like, okay, I'm like, okay, let's see. She then said, you know, well, fuck it. Let's take all of them together so many can get into one. This is what I don't get. Because when she said that, you know, um, Juicy acted like she was just falling out laughing or whatever. And my thing is, Juicy, you get me, you get me mad, home girl. So then, you know, she doing all of that or whatever. And then, yeah, I, I took yours. I took it. I bossed up. Now what? And then me like, you know what, bitch? You know what I'm saying? Kiss the crack on my ass. I'm laughing. Now they showed a preview for like the next episode, and we see how in the sneak peek, a beer kept calling Minnie Roly Poly, and then again, Juicy laughing. But Juicy, your big ass was was rolling in that seat. You couldn't even get up. So my thing is, I don't get when plus size people laugh at someone teasing someone about their size, as if you not a big bitch too. You can't do that. That's not how this works. That's not how any of this works. And that's why I say Juicy purposely brought Abira to fuck with fuck with Minnie so that she didn't have to. That's why she did it. And my thing is, you can't... I just don't... They all get on my goddamn old nerve. It's, it's the stupidest shit ever. I think, you know, clearly someone made sure someone didn't have a way to get into the water. I think to leave a plus-ass person... With a smart size small is some bullshit. I also feel like somebody should have known when it was giving out sizes, a beer ass should have been the last one to get one. I don't get how a beer got one before before everyone else got their own sizes. That's just my personal opinion. But I call bullshit all around. Juicy, you look look. Juicy is a shit starter. And from this show, I don't like juicy ass either. A beer popping off and the roly poly jokes and bitch you too fat to get into this and all this stuff i don't like your ass neither the same way a little person should don't want to be teased about being little why tease a big person about being big why tease how you teasing people in general 
point blank period. And I'm like, and Juicy was really laughing. And then Sam just had a little big mouth like, oh my God, I can't believe she said that. People don't defend many, typically ever, as far as I can see on this show. I think usually if many do something, what are twins supposed to attend? But all the twins don't even really defend her. They just are her friends. But I feel like, you know, well, no, because in this in the next episode, we do see the twins going off and they also arguing with a bear. Um, so they do defend her. But I'm like, Sam fake as fuck, and Minnie fake as I mean, Juicy fake as fuck too. You know, it was just a whole bunch of fuckery, and, just fuckery everywhere. And they all pissed me off. So I can't wait and to see the next episode because it looks entertaining. But you know, that's my review. Um, so guess what? I am Jay Lee, and this is Jay Lee's Corner. So until next time, people, peace. <laughs>